Fire Code 2000. So today is August 3rd and we are already doing some Trans Am Nationals prep. Uh, as you can see I got the car fully lifted. Um, I got some new tires to replace the 18 year old tires that I had on the car. Uh, my rear bump stops are totally rotted off. And uh, I'm going to replace those. And I have a bad upper ball joint. So I'm going to replace those. And then uh, do an oil change. Uh, check the rear end, the diff fluid, and uh, start cleaning it. Yep, here I am cleaning, and this is about as clean as it's going to get. Our Trans Am Nationals Friday always begins with a trip through registration and a trip through the tech line. Friday is kind of the relaxed day of the three. Uh, you're going to see a lot of open parking spots in my video for Friday, but don't worry, this place is going to be packed tomorrow and Sunday. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm Ken Squire. We've been delighted to bring you flag-to-flag -flag coverage of perhaps the most amazing, astonishing Daytona 500 in history.
the owner of this car, Trevor Blair, is a fantastic photographer and I hope that you've had the opportunity to have him snap a picture of your car if you've been to this event before. These tents will be busy tomorrow with concourse judging. The tent to the left will be full of goodies to buy tomorrow.
watch Scott take a picture of a car. <laughs> He's taking me in a freaking picture. <laughs> he loves this orange car. I don't know why. Rest assured, every Trans Am team here will be pulling every one of their tricks out of the bag, hoping to score a win here today. There's a lot of sleeping cars out here, let me tell you.
So this light on the closed Homewood Suites was definitely possessed. Good night, we'll see you in the morning. Good Saturday morning. We are here at the Trans Am Nationals. It is a very nice day today. Hopefully it will stay that way. And as you saw yesterday, it was kind of a roll in and just hang out day, kind of relaxed. Uh, today is the uh, first day of judging for those that want to be judged and later tonight we will be heading out to uh, Tip City. So I uh, hope you enjoy the day. McDonald's where we go to get drinks every day.
<laughs> I heard that you guys were buying all kinds of stuff up in there. Our friends Dave and Sharon were parked in Winners Row this year as they were the winner of the M3 Heavy Custom Class last year. Are you loading? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Scott, you got to come here because Trevor and I got our guns out. <laughs> as I mentioned yesterday, these two tents are for concourse judging. As you can see, there's a flurry of activity of cars that are being uh, judged as we speak. Let's go inside the Holiday Inn and check out the Mini Nationals.
look, he has sunglasses on. <laughs> I also mentioned yesterday that this tent was going to be full of goodies to buy, and today is the day, and Charlene and I went in there and got a lot of cool stuff.
There's a pink one, honey. Huh? There's a pink one. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer. As Saturday winds down, many of us make the trip north to Tip City for the cruise in.
anything to drink. Or stop at the Boy Scouts. Because we're almost, almost to them. It's a funny looking uh, Trans Am. It has skeletons in it. Hey! Hello ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> A couple places we always make a point to visit in Tip City is the Browse the Wild Bookstore and uh, Rad Candy Company.
Well, here we are in the basement of the haunted bookstore, and I have yet to see a ghost. The night always ends with sitting in the parking lot and socializing with our friends. Well, is there something wrong with the truck or whatever? And I'm like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I like. Huh? That's the one I like. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah. That's pretty. Oh, that's the one you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Are you going? Night, boys and girls. Night. We'll see Night. you your bedtime. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Yeah. Morning. This is our home for the weekend, and we will see you in the morning. It's fun finding pictures of your car that many of the other fine photographers that attend the show have uh, taken, and here are eight that I happen to find. Happy Sunday morning from the Trains and Nationals. Uh, today is the last day and uh, people get judged and win awards that want to do that and some of us just come here for the fun. Like we did. It has been a great weekend so far, so let's continue the fun. Yep, hope you enjoy the day. Thank you.
these videos wouldn't be possible without this wonderful woman's support.
guys all dressed up like a like. What's that? All dressed up a like. Yeah, I thought you said we were all drugged up like a like. <laughs> what? I didn't know you might do that too. <laughs> yeah, we matched. Yeah, that's cute. My shoes aren't as bright, but, you know, well, neither am I, so. I gotta look good with big shoes. Come on now. <laughs> What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. Relaxing here in the shade while we watch the cutest little dog run after his toy. Brad's getting ready to take a picture of Charlene and I alongside two of our favorite people in the world, Dave and Sharon. Well, that's a wrap on the Trans Am Nationals video for this year. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, these videos are the most watched videos I make, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, I, uh, you know, enjoy hearing comments at the Nationals every year from people that recognize us for, you know, for being in the videos and and for uh, for making them, and that that means a lot because I, I do it for fun, and uh, I'm glad that other people enjoy what I do. And, I look forward to uh, doing it again next year. So that's going to be all. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next year.
Good morning. My name is Charlene Robinson. Oh, good morning. My name is Scott Robinson. I'm Charlene's husband. Yes. And we are going to do an interview with... I'm going to do an interview with Scott. And I'm going to... Uh, so, uh, oh, this is Sunday, August 25th. <laughs> okay, here is your first question. What is the most annoying thing I've ever done to you? Hmm. There's nothing annoying that you've done to me that I can think of. Hmm. Okay. Do you listen to podcasts? Uh, yes, I have in the past. It's been a while since I have, but yes, I have. Okay. Do you enjoy them? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they're a little too in too much to listen to while you're trying to do something else, so I you know, can't. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, what is the worst advice you've ever been given? Uh, the worst advice I've ever been given. Go to art school? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, uh, you won't get caught? I, I don't. I don't know. That's a tough. One. Well, if you think of an answer later, we can come back to this. Okay. okay. What is the biggest risk you've ever taken? Biggest risk I've ever taken. Speeding. Speeding? Yeah, probably speeding. What's your biggest pet peeve? Oh, the, the uh, people that can't drive at consistent speed. Yes. You slow down, speed up, times. Yeah, drives me nuts. Uh, what movie could you watch over and over? Roadhouse. The original. What's your favorite weather? My favorite weather? Ooh, probably spring and. Fall yeah, yeah, is a close second. About the same. I mean, I enjoy yeah. summer, but it's so hot. It's just, yeah. Um, have you ever ran out of gas? Yes, I have. In the Trans Am. Leaving work. I was right in front of work and I ran out of gas. Because I was running a little, a little low on money that week and I didn't have money, much money to gas in the truck. I didn't have enough gas in the truck and I thought I had enough gas in the car to make it to the back. No. And my uh, mom and dad actually brought me some gas. <laughs> well, that was sweet of I, mean, I, was, I was probably 800 feet out of the parking lot from work. I mean, I just barely made it. So uh, I thought I you know, thought I had more than that. I was trying to get to a gas station around the corner. So, so where were you working at the time? Uh, the glass factory in the post. There was a gas station probably a quarter mile away, maybe for that. So, I figured I'd have enough to get to work and then get to that gas station. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the group called uh, Black Pink? Heard of the group called huh. Black Pink? No, I have not. Okay. Neither have I. Oh, they don't exist? Or? Yeah. Oh, they do exist? Yeah. Okay. Well, kind of. Uh, I don't know. No? Well, we need to investigate that. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the next interview. We'll tell you information. <laughs> hmm. Was that why you ran out of beer? <laughs> Can you curl your toes? <laughs> <laughs> this way, maybe? <laughs> there you go. That's cruel you're done. <laughs> we'll come back to that question. We'll have one more. Okay. What's the bra bravest thing you've ever done? Bravest thing you've ever done. Okay. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very to you. That's the best thing you ever did, too. <laughs> the no, the yeah. How sweet. Why shouldn't you trust trees? They're shady. <laughs> Have 
Have you ever heard of a magic truck? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it turned into a field. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I once saw Liam Neeson and he looked like he wasn't feeling very good so I gave him a balloon and he's like, what's this balloon for? And I thought like, it's a heel Liam balloon. That concludes our interview. Thank you for watching. See you next year. Bye. <laughs>